So who is Santa's favorite singer? Elvis Presley. There you go, an oldie but goldie. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. Shaving today on Christmas Day. I wasn't going to record, but I thought, why not? Why not give you the pleasure of spending Christmas Day morning with me? I have no artificial light on, so I hope it's okay. Maybe you're quite happy you can't see me anyway. Who knows? Um, I had already loaded the brush because I did my head. This is Soap Commander Endurance. Spicy soap. Nice scent. I'd given up on this soap. I thought it was not performing very well, it was boring. And I've changed my mind. I've done that quite a few times. Sorry about the faucet tap. Quite a few times on soaps in particular, but sometimes razors as well. No, ma mainly soaps actually. You know, just because I couldn't figure them out, how to build the lather properly, just because I didn't know anything about scent notes and, <laughs> and you know, your, your taste in scents, your taste in scents changes and develops as you get new experiences, the new reference points, etc. Let's try and work that in a bit, see what happens. Yeah, so Christmas Day morning, well, it's actually 10.30. So I've been up for a while and 10.30 on a, on a lazy day is my family's worst, you know, the worst time for me to shave according to the family because they're usually eager to get into the bathroom. We have only one. Um, so there you go. So there might be banging on the door, protesters outside. Maybe not pro-life protesters, but pro-pee pro protesters. You know, the right to pee. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm sorry. Um, so sometimes I prepare talking points just to have something interesting to say or sometimes I have something interesting to say rather so I write them down on a piece of paper. Uh, it's also to avoid rambling too much um, because no one wants that. I haven't today. I frequently don't. I think a lot of YouTubers don't, you know. Some seem prepared. Maybe they're not. <laughs> Maybe they're just letting their their mind wander like I do most of the time. And we do. I do apologize. But at least you get it. You get a first first hand glance at the insides of us performance monkeys. You know, attention whores. Pardon the French. The brush is Frank Strömberg and Matti Lindholm's collab with a boar knot. And I can never, never remember where it comes from, so I won't. I'm not even going to bother to learn. Coffee. Coffee. Third mug. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, the uh, 24th, is the big, the big Christmas day for us in Sweden. So we're going with the Drudic, Damascus Steel, Maple, Maple, Stabilized Maple, Burley, Burley Maple. I should have checked. Look at those scales. Okay, so we're going with these again. Um, I'm going to think I master this now because it's the second shave, so I'm going to cut myself, I'm sure. This is the tricky bit. But anyway, so yeah, 24th is when you have the traditional meals, you watch certain things on television, you, you give and receive gifts, etc. So, so today is just a lazy day. Today you do nothing, shops are closed, no sports, no nothing. 
you play with your to the toys you got yesterday. But anyway, I gave my wife uh, a thermos. <laughs> okay, we've been married 24 or 5 years or something. Uh, is it 20? Yeah, it's a lot of years anyway. I wanted one because we're at home all the time. I mean, we drink a lot of coffee, we use up a lot of thermoses, so I've got a really nice one, which this comes from. It's, it's super expensive and it's designed by one by the Prince of Sweden. One of the Bernadottes who came here. The, the ancestor, the, the first guy who came was a lieutenant or something in Napoleon's army in the Napoleon War. So he came, I don't know, the European royal houses have all kinds of, I can't see anything, what do I do? I feel, um, you know, they'd marry each other's kids away just to make strong alliances and stuff. So, um, and of course at that time, if you were, if you were anyone interesting, he spoke French, so, so I guess, I don't know if he was royal. He, he must have been royal on some level, but getting a French king was, was very nice, I'm sure. And some of them work. As, you know, kings, the queen, uh, queen princess, uh, crown princess, etc. They do a lot of of work for Sweden and so forth, and uh, and get paid for that. And then, but then some of them don't really have a royal job, although they are royalty. So, so the prince is the son of the king. He drives sports cars and he's done a few things, but the thing that actually brings in a bit of money and he is allowed to work somehow is, is his new designing venture with another guy. So I don't know how much he's actually designing, but there is a, there have been royal, his, his grandfather's brother, I think, was uh, was a bit of a designer and, and there are, uh, I get them confused, but anyway, design is a, is a bit of a thing amongst royalty in Sweden, so pretty cool. What? <laughs> I'll try and remember to put a link to, can you tell I'm still a bit unsure about this razor? Try to remember to put a link to a video by Scott Owl. Otherwise, you check him out, Scott Owl, two words, as a shaver. And he did the 19, 2020 Shave Awards or something, where he gave out 10 awards to his mates, <laughs> to be honest. It's only his good friends. So, and one of the prizes, I think the first one, was uh, was awarded to me, and that was for something very Yorkshire-y with, uh, with uh, bollocks and stuff. But basically, I, I got the prize for being the best at, or worst at, bullshitting, just talking about nothing for a very long time. So there you go again, about a thermos. I'm very inspired by Marcel Proust. Yeah, you Google that, you cultural. Whatever. If you know, you know. Very nice. Yeah, so a good day yesterday. Very nice and quiet, just the four of us and the family. Um, you watch the same television. I'm hopeless like that. My wife sometimes thinks, well, do we have to have porridge in the evening, whatever the tradition is? Yes, because we've always had that, and that's how my mom did it. 
and I want to watch the same TV programs as well that have been on since 1980 something on Christmas and, and some <laughs> I won't go into that but there's a cartoon section Disney that's been on since I don't know the 50s basically the same thing so you're raised with watching this at, at three o'clock Donald Duck and his friends so I insist on that everybody fell asleep or my son stayed up but the others just fell asleep because it's just after Christmas lunch and it's cartoons for an hour <laughs> and it's the same cartoons as from the 50s god but you you have to follow tradition i'm not a i don't think i'm a hopeless traditionalist and i'm not very fond of rules and stuff like that but on christmas you have to eat exactly the same thing watch do the same thing uh, you always do i think what do you think my wife was saying, what about Vietnamese? You know, I'm sure she was joking, half. So yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Even I got a few presents, a few books. So oh, I'll have to read now. <laughs> no, I enjoy that. Because Bram Stoker's Dracula, which is, I don't think, I'm not sure I've read that. So, I'm gonna enjoy that. There's a classic for you. Got some clothes. Got a merch t-shirt for my favorite podcast in Sweden, Tombola podcast. You should check that out if you like. If you want to have fun and laugh, you want to check that out. It's in Swedish though, so. Only for Swedish speaking people and Swedes actually. I don't know if you can get it abroad, possibly. Tombola podcast, two comedians just rambling pretty much like I do for an hour every week. Okay, don't cut yourself. Doing okay so far. Ooh, famous last words. Biel, uh, how will I remember to put the link? I, I usually forget links. Scott Owl, he's a funny man. He's a good friend. He's from Yorkshire, so he has a funny accent, although he says he has no accent, <laughs> of course. Everybody else speaks funny. Oh yeah, and I got, I got a nice present that I had asked for quite some time ago. This is Encre Noir from La Lique. So I wanted a vetiver scented perfume. I've mentioned this before. Because Martin de Condre Vetiver is maybe my favorite soap scent. So Frank Stromberg from Wet Shaving and Stuff sent me six samples of Vetiver perfumes. And I've got to concentrate. There is a learning curve with this razor. I'm doing fine, but I'm I'm certainly not going quickly. That's for that's for sure. So yeah, and and I was dead set on uh, Guerlain Guerlain's vetiver, I think it's called. But then I kept on trying them, and this one is this one turned out to be the winner. So Encre Noir, quite quite dark. Encre Noir means black ink and yep the black ink vetiver touch that's all you need to know and then you know what it smells like. Frank calls it goth in a bottle. Frank should be in advertising and design. 
he gets tired of being a teacher, maybe he will. Combined art director and copywriter in just one person. It's the Madison Avenue dream. Okay, we're nearly there. Nearly there. I, I really enjoy the scent of this soap. Spicy. Enjoying this razor as well. I think we're good. Oh, and there's a for there's a, a trade agreement between the European Union and the, the United Kingdom, which is doesn't sound intriguing at all, but it's it is. We're very happy. Britain Britain is leaving the European Union. And a oh, long story. Anyway, good Christmas present for everybody. Just going to rinse down here. Very nice. That was a good shave. Good shave. A bit of cold rinsing. Talk amongst yourselves. bathroom we were using the Oco aftershave splash from hell wakes you up before you go go oh nothing wow clean good clean shave wall pretty decent anyway and no stinging wow that is good stuff that is good stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna put on a balm because it's it's cold. It's minus degrees, below freezing point. Took the dog for a walk by the sea and it's, it's all frozen. Well, the sea is not, but everything else is so beautiful. Sun out, fantastic. Just waiting for the snow because there's no snow. And then we're putting on La Lique Encore Encre Noir and we're good to go. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this on Christmas day, um, Happy Christmas, if you're watching it later on, happy whatever. Uh, might be back tomorrow, we'll see. Tomorrow's Boxing Day. <laughs>